One of my grandfathers was a local artist specialising in oil painting and photography. He painted my portrait as a baby and I also remember Mum getting very cross with us one day for covering ourselves in oil paint. My grandfather, Hugo Emmanuel August, was a major catalyst for my future art career. In 1998, I left Horsham and travelled throughout Australia as a wool classer. During this time, I did a series of charcoal and pencil drawings documenting moments in the wool shed. My dad was also very special to me and in 2011 my father passed away and during this time of intense grief I produced works exploring mark making and watercolour. In a period of emotional extremes these works required precision and control to make and Shadow 1 and Shadow 2 were produced at this time. Shortly afterwards I produced Nature and Nurture series which shows the emergence of white space as a dominant element in my work. During this phase I also explored the tension of cutting and erasure as an expression of loss and grief. In these works I took a series of family photographs taken by my grandfather. I explored feelings and human emotion in the digital age. The Emma Keeley portrait series was painted at this time as an entry to a major Australian portrait competition. On the rise was a study in monumentalism, a series of well-known buildings and landmarks in Horsham reconceived from photographs I took into minimalist architectural pieces mounted on tiles. In 2014 and 15, I painted a series of works based on what I saw at harvest time near Mount Arapiles. The region was gripped by the longest drought in memory and I remember driving home from Nadimark in my car the windows down and the hot dry air and prickly chaff cutting pieces into my skin after being sucked into the interior of the car. My involvement in the community art space of Horsham includes working on a large scale puppetry piece called Whirlpool. I was also artist in residence for a project by Horsham Rural City Council called Life on the Land, Why? And out of that was born Detracted Drought. Recently I purchased a rural property at St Helens Plains. Coincidentally was where my father used to take me horse riding as a child. And I've also reconnected with my former secondary college St Bridget's where I once was school college captain and I'll be producing some works for their upcoming centenary celebrations. I moved to Horsham when I was 10 years old. I felt very isolated in my new space, having just begun to embrace urban influences in the city, of hip hop music, its fashion, and of course, graffiti. Suddenly I was in the country with kids that had very different interests in fashion to me. Sketchbook was my best mate back then. At the same time, I was introduced to comic books. Graffiti has always been in the background. I've always loved its aesthetic. I remember spotting graph for the first time and thinking, this is what I'm going to do one day and was fortunate enough to have babysitters that got me introduced to the scene and took me out on adventures. After I finished school and moved to Melbourne, I dabbled in graffiti, but the can was soon put on the shelf and I discovered nightclubs and girls. Gradually got back into it in my early 20s, but then my daughter Bailey was born and I stopped paying all together to spend time with her. When Bailey was nearly two, her mother brought me home some spray paint encouraged me to take up painting again as a form of therapy. I've been working commercially for Jump Swim Schools Australia. I travel all across Australia painting underwater wonderland murals on the walls next to swimming pools. I also do commission pieces, such as the graffiti piece on the side of the hot box kebabs, which then led to me being approached for commissions for loud signs and Joey Jelly being in Warwick Bill, and also inside the walls of the Warwick Bill pub. Painting Australian native animals is definitely the whimmer screaming through my art. The abundance of bird life, particularly along the river, stumpy tails around Arapiles and other snakes, lizards and frogs, to me feel like living dinosaurs and have become the subject matter for a large body of my work which I'm currently assembling for what I hope will be my first exhibition. 
I commenced to study at CATC doing graphic design, but I found design too restricting artistically and financially and left to work in the construction industry. I tend to eventually break into RMIT and force myself in the public arts course and currently have applications pending. I was just getting back into graffiti and I'd only been pursuing it solely for about two months when a competition called Vacant Space Graffiti Battle was announced in Adelaide. It was a threatening environment with the Adelaide boys declaring they were going to kick Victoria's ass. Mad C, a celebrated female artist from Germany, judged the battle and I actually won the bloody thing. Most recently I was involved with the Welcome to Horsham mural on Horsham Coles Wall. Danny Orr's from Nine Degrees Art was commissioned to do the mural and I donated my time. I would painted murals in Geraldton WA prior to this so it was a great privilege to be involved with a project in my hometown. Painting with Danny was rad as I haven't had any formal arts training and he was able to show me a few techniques. After my recent move back to Melbourne, I had a big fall while working at Heights and broke my hip and elbow. When you work on ladders, scaffolds and scissor lifts, you regularly do get too comfortable. The positive side of this accent is that I'm now using my time to organise my portfolio. The rumour has lately had a monumental influence on my art, particularly subject matter and my palette. 